Hey everyone, um, I've sort of got the uh, testing phase of the uh, WBR receiver working. I've got all the main RF components done, which I'll just move the light a bit so I get a bit better fit in from here. There we go. Um, I'm just uh, testing the oscillator and making sure that the Regen is doing its thing, it looks like it's all doing its thing. Um, I really don't know what I'm looking at, but um, by my guess of what happens with the, the controls and what I'm seeing from the um, the tank out, you know, the oscillation in the tank um, seems to be doing something. Of course, I've got no antenna connected at the moment, so I'm not expecting anything. Um, I would have thought I'd get some static or something. I do get some static if I probe around with the um, the uh, crow probes and I do sometimes get what sounds like you know background static but otherwise it sits pretty quiet um, so uh, if I grab my let's move this around here if I grab my probe and just probe not just hang the probe around near it you should be able to see on my crow that I'm oscillating about 7 megahertz. Now, if I wind, I'll just jury rig this so it sits there a bit better. Ugh, sorry. Let's jury rig this so it sits near there. Yeah, we've got the thingy. Right, so you can see 6.94, which I wouldn't, wouldn't guess that would be accurate anyway. It's close. But my regen control seems to work. Turn the regen down. We get nothing. And wind it up. Oh, you can hear the hear the sound in the background. Wind it up. Eventually, you just go. Whoa. And obviously, that's too much. Interesting. Yeah, gone too far. So wind it back. Get a nice. Zoom in a bit so I don't have to hold so close. Alright, we've got a nice oscillation. Now if I wind the tuning knob, at the moment it's at the top, if I wind it all the way down, you can see the waveform gets slightly wider. And it tunes down to about 6.5 meg up to 6.94. So it's a little bit off band at the moment. That's probably more to do with the um the slightly uh, underrated what the circuit diagram had for the trim cap because um, it wanted a uh, it really wanted a 2 to 12 picofarad and I could only find a 3 to uh, 3 to 20 I think it was um, so I was going to have to fiddle around with the tuning somewhat <laughs> or completely think that I <laughs> not know what I'm doing um, and not be able to do that and have to actually find something that is actually correct. But, um, yeah, so far it seems like it's working. No black smoke's coming out. For the first time I powered it up, I had os oscillations. So, unlike the uh, last little attempt at RF, um, it actually seemed to work as advertised out of the box. Um, I haven't done the audio stage at the moment. I'm just grabbing it out and using, basically it's an LM386 in the circuit diagram anyway, and... I got one built in this, so I didn't want to have to do that just yet. So I'm just grabbing the grabbing the audio. Well, the output. There's no audio yet. Um, and yeah, so I guess I need to attach an antenna and see what I get. So if you actually know uh, if this is actually in a correct state, what you could see on the on the crow. Um, it looks like it's oscillating. It looks like the the tuning's working. Um, it's slightly out of tune, but where it wants to be, where I need it to be, um, but all in all it's not too bad, um, and it looks like it's sort of working as far as I can tell. So anyway, that's where I'm up to, probably a really crappy video and a bit shaky and bouncy because I was moving things around, but anyway, is it is what it is, so uh, yeah, good night all.